Oh, God bless you. This is uh, Missionary Rudy Henry for He Who Saves One Life Saves the Rose Ministries. I like Wisconsin. Um, I like Cleveland. Um, amen. I like Seattle. I like Milwaukee. Go Milwaukee. Um, go, go Cleveland. Go Wisconsin. I love the Badgers. I love the, the Bucks, man. I, tr I love the Cleveland. My God, God, I love Seattle. Amen. God bless those teams ah, all the way in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to tell you that God is a good God. Amen. And that something good is going to happen to you today. I love being a Native American. I'm a human being. <laughs> that was a word of endearment that Native Americans used to call each other. We're the two-legged. There's the four-legged. I'm not a four-legged. I'm a two-legged. Indians call, we would call each other human beings. Um, we were human beings, Lakota, the Sioux, the Cheyenne, the Pawnee, the Shoshone, the Iroquois, the Blackfoot, the Cree, um, the Apache, the Miwok, the, the Sioux, there's so many, you know, <laughs> we would call each other human beings. And what's that one? There's no word for goodbye because I'll see you again in Navajo or Lakota. You know that. There's no word for goodbye. I'll see you again, brother. I'll see you. And it always, I always do see those Indians again. Amen. Jesus loves you today. I just love being a human being. God, the God made me a human being. I love being a Native American. I love being a Mono and a Paiute. I got to get props out to uh, um, Mr. Goodwin was my counselor. At, I was Yoshimity Bear. He was my counselor. He was the chief of the Monos. And he was, I was always tardy, never going to school, always messing up. And I, they would call me in and I would go in there and sit down. And Mr. Goodman, he was just a blessing of the Lord. He always, we, he told me all these stories about, <laughs> all these Indian stories. He was the Mono chief. He was Mr. Goodman. That was his name, actually. He was a Mono chief, man. And I'm Mono Paiute, so I guess he was my chief. And he would always tell me his Native American stories. <laughs> I mean, that's all we talked about. He never talked, he never scolded me. God bless you, Mr. Goodman. Maybe his uncles or kids or family. God bless you. You have a wonder. He was a beautiful soul. He never scolded me. We just had a good time. And he was telling me how we can become men and you can have the bones and you hang from the. <laughs> I, I, I didn't go to school that day. There was a few who did. They actually went through with that. So you go up to the hills, and they, you hang from the thing. You become a man or something. I said, I'm sorry. I think like I was. Me and my brother, we punked out. We didn't go. Michael didn't go. Neither do I. My brother's a Paiute Mono. And I was like, man, I'm not. I'm sorry. I got to get this. I said, you're poking no bones in my breast. And if you scream or something, they really do that. They wanted us to do that. <clears throat> and on that day, I was like, man, I didn't go to school and neither did my brother. So, but there were some kids there that went and did that ceremony. And my God, it was amazing. Um, Mr. Goodman, God bless you. He was my counselor there and actually my chief. And he never scolded me. And he gave me 50, um, he gave me 50 alarm clocks because I was always late. He said, here, Rudy, here's the batteries. I must have had a hunt. I, I wish today I had one of those alarm clocks. Just one of them, yeah. I love you, Mr. Good. He was a beautiful soul, beautiful man. He was my friend. He never he would tell that we don't belong in school, and then he would get into these other Indian stories, and he would go on and on. He was an old end of them. You know how the old elders are. And I was just like, yeah, I ate it up. And I was like, thank God he didn't scold me. My God, there was another guy who used to. Um, we were we were in gym, and so we what we would do is people would run around the, the gym. He was another, I don't know what he was a Iroquois or something. So we were two Indians hanging out, and they would run around the track. Yeah, and me and him never ran around the track. We said, "Well, let everybody go, and we'll walk around the track." We did that for many times. He was my friend. I think it was a me walk. I don't know something Seneca, big old Indian guy. We were he was my friend, and we was we would. Cheat. We cheated, and finally they caught us and make us stay after school, and they would make us do the rounds together. And my Indian friend said, I had enough. We're just going to do it. We're just going to walk or run. So it was my road dog. <laughs> He's a big old bear-looking Indian guy. And we would we would cheat, man. We would get to We said, this is how we're going to do We let the school run around. They would walk around. And God bless you was my friend in crime. And we would cheat, and they, the, they caught on. Someone snitched us out and make us stay after school and do all the rounds together. So God bless you today. And I don't know if you're hearing this, but I love you, and Jesus loves you to do. 
we had a good old time. We did that for a long time, and he's with me today, and I have many of many of our friends, you know, I remember it was a beautiful, so it was funny to hang out with. We would just, we did that every day, man, and finally they caught on that. We would stay after school, and we were, so I used to go to Yosemite, Yosemite Bears, and I forgot his name. I think it was a Miwok or something like that, Mohawk or something. He was a beautiful Indian. Big old dude, and we would we would just cheat, and so I just want to give him a moment of honor, and he he he's with me today. Good man, good person. I had a few for laughs. And he said, Rudy, we got to stop this. So we started doing it for him. And God loves you. Um, the Rudy Henry, for he who loves saves one life, saves rules, ministries. God bless. Thank you, God, for making me a human being. Amen. Thank you. Jesus loves you today. Call upon the name of the Lord, the Paiute, the Mono. God bless you today in Jesus' name.